City of Albuquerque's code enforcement and police were called to a home near UNM yesterday after people were complaining about a bizarre display of Barbie dolls in their neighbor's yard. News 13's Rachel Knapp is live off faster near Constitution and Girard with the story. Rachel. Jess, it's certainly an interesting display, and I'm going to move over to the side a little bit so you can get a better view of it. Now, Barbies like this are hanging up on the wall, and the homeowner, he's calling it art, but others call it vulgar. The Barbie's in bondage, I call it. David, the homeowner and artist, didn't want to show his face, but he did want to show off his collection of Barbies hanging off his front wall. I've had a lot of time to uh, look at the people walking by wearing masks, and I was taking telephoto pictures of the people with masks. He says this is not a political statement, but a statement about the pandemic. Taping glass on Barbie's face as a mask, sticking nails into the side of their arms where the vaccine goes, and he says the red paint highlights pain and medical issues from the vaccine. All of this art is about truth versus lies. But that's not all. His front yard is full of computers, TVs, and other electronics with the word lies painted on them and signs hanging from his tree. One reads, NM, slave state. Not everyone is a fan of David's work. I really do find it inappropriate for children and for myself also. One neighbor who also didn't want to show his face says their family doesn't feel comfortable walking by the home because of the display. I mean, I love art, so any other type of art would be great, but having naked dolls with masks uh, laying on the sidewalk is not appropriate. It's definitely a little bit graphic, uh, but at the same time, after thinking about it, um, this is, if you go out there, you can find pieces of art that, that look like this or even more explicit, more graphic. For other neighbors, they say it's their neighbor's freedom of expression. You know, this is something that um, a person can communicate their the way that they feel about a certain topic, you know, through an artistic medium. Now, the city did stop by here yesterday just to check it all out, but they say that this doesn't violate any city code because all of this is on his private property. The city also adds that this is a form of free speech. Back to you. All right, thank you, Rachel. The city says they've received three different complaints a few years ago regarding another art display David had made.